welcome to St. Paul's Episcopal Church Sunday Holy Eucharist from our family dining room table. Today is September 6, 2020, the 14th Sunday after Pentecost. My name is Sean Rousseau, and I'm joined by my wife, Carrie, and our kids, Eowyn, Summer Grace. Behind the camera is LJ, and Aislinn is away at college. We begin with announcements for our phased approach to regathering as church. We hold Sunday morning prayer outside at 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. in the parking lot. We continue for those who cannot join us in person Sunday Holy Eucharist online. Look for the YouTube video on the website and the Sunday email. We are preparing the church for live streaming so that when we are back indoors, you can join us virtually if you cannot join us in person. It is good to pray with you online or outside. Thank you for joining us with your prayers and presence. And for the music for all of our services, thank you to Dr. Pat Avery. Keep in mind this coming Sunday, we celebrate September 13th, the 15th Sunday after Pentecost. Please join us for a blessing of grandparents. An announcement about church school for children and youth. Our at home church school program is called Take Out Church Prayer to Go. Please email pictures of your kids working on their activities or their completed projects. So we can include those photos in our Sunday Holy Eucharist YouTube video and on our Facebook page. S'mores and stories. Remember that we have been given permission to hold social events outside with the same rules as worship. Join us on Friday, September 11th and 25th from 6.30 to 9 p.m. in St. Paul's Field and Parking Lot. We'll continue to hold this event throughout the fall. Enjoy the fire pit, share summer stories, make s'mores. We'll have individual bags of s'mores ingredients and disposable s'more sticks available. Please bring a folding chair, glow bracelets, etc. Stay for 30 minutes with a holy meal. Please watch for the following updates on our website, our weekly email on Thursdays, our weekend email on Sundays. Also consider during this time, our church directory, remaining in contact with your church friends, our church website, Click on online giving for your pledge, Sunday offering, or donation to the Rector's Discretionary Fund, or mail in your pledge, Sunday offerings, that check mail at the church office. All my contact information is listed in the church directory and in all emails. Please feel free to contact me for any reason. We are now ready to begin our Pentecost season Sunday Holy Eucharist. If you'd like to follow along in the BCP, please turn to page 355. You're all ready? Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and, and blessed be his kingdom, kingdom now and forever. And forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In turning the page, we proclaim the Gloria. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, highest and, and peace, peace to his, his people on earth. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, to trust in you with all our hearts, for as you always resist the proud who confide in their own strength, so you never forsake those who make their boast of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Ezekiel. So you mortal, I have made a centennial for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them a warning from me. If I say to the wicked, O wicked ones, you shall surely die and you do not speak to warn the wicked to turn from their ways, the wicked shall die in their inequity, but their blood I will require at the, your hand. But if you warn the wicked to turn from their ways, and they do not turn from their ways, but the wicked, the wicked shall die in their inequity, but you 
will have saved your life. Now, you mortal, say to the house of Israel, Thus you have said, Our transgressions and our sins weigh upon us, and we waste away because of them. How then can we live? Say to them, As I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from their ways and live, turn back, turn back from your evil ways. For why will you die, O house of Israel? The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. Please join in Psalm 199 on BTP 766 FX. Psalm 119. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes. And, and I, I shall, shall keep, keep it, it to the end. end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. I, I shall keep, keep it with, with all my heart. Make me go in the path of your commandment. For, For that, that is my desire. desire. Incline my heart to your decrees, and, and not, not to unjust gain. Turn my eyes from watching that what is wicked. Give, Give me life in your ways. Fulfill your promise to your servant. Which, which you, you make, make to those who fear you. Turn away the reproach which I dread. Because, because your judgments are good. Behold, a, I long for your commandment. In, In your, your righteousness, righteousness preserve my life. A reading from St. Paul to the Romans. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know what time it is. Now, how, what, besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us than when we were, when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not reveling in drunkenness, not in debauchery and license and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, Lord Christ. Christ. Jesus said, If another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you've regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you, so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I tell you, Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you, Lord Christ. Christ. the end of Matthew's Gospel, we heard, For where two or three are and gathered in my name, I am there among them. Amen. Amen. We often forget this promise of Jesus to us, that Christian life is lived 
in Jesus. Life lived and shared, renewed and healed in his ways, the ways of love, through faith and baptism. Jesus' words offer us tremendous guidance that we are all responsible for one another. Jesus is here to listen to us, to help us, to love us, and love does more than just avoid vice. Jesus is with us all the time. His example is with us, leading us to draw others to the good. So today's gospel is a challenging one. Take a moment to remember a challenging time and important relationship to you. For many of us, it may involve a relationship within our family. Maybe during this COVID-19 time, it is someone you are stuck at home with all the time. A spouse or a child or a parent or a sibling or an in-law. For some of us, it may involve a neighbor or a fellow parishioner or a friend where our relationship has become strained or wounded. For some of us, it may be someone at work or we encounter through our work responsibilities. So who is the person that you have the greatest difficulty with at this moment? I suggest that you make this person in that relationship your intention in your prayer today. Pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit to help you discern where conversation is needed and what you can do to heal or begin to heal that relationship through reconciliation. Ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten you so that you can better understand the source of the problem. So, if I am the problem, then I need to ask for the grace to change. In some cases, I may be the source of the problem or at least partially. In your prayer, ask the Lord to help you recognize what you can do to bring about positive change in this situation. Ask for the strength and courage to make the necessary changes in your life. In one sense, it's easier if I am the problem, then I am the one who needs to make the changes. Then, in that case, it is in my control to bring about healing and reconciliation in this relationship. It may be difficult to face my own issues, to apologize, to make the necessary changes. Uh, yet, at least, I can affect change if I really want change. Our gospel passage, though, deals with a more difficult situation when I am not the source of the problem. Today's gospel is one of the most challenging and at the same time one of the most useful teachings as we grapple with the consequences of our actions and the actions of others. Jesus gives specific instructions on how we're to respond when a fellow Christian has sinned against us and harmed us. Jesus is not giving his disciples permission to rip into each other. Instead, he calls us to humility, kindness, and compassion. And then in this coming Sunday's gospel, Jesus also challenges Peter and the disciples to forgive not only seven times, but seven times seventy times. Mercy really is at the heart of the gospel message, and Jesus came to bring mercy. So what do I do when someone hurts and harms me, and inevitably hurts and harms themselves in the process? whether they know it or not. Jesus challenges us to fight some of our natural instincts. First, Jesus tells us to go directly to that person and confront them with honesty and charity. With this instruction, Jesus is also telling us what not to do. We are not to go and tell everyone else about the hurt and injury done to us. We are not to publicize the sin of another. Instead, we are to be more loving, more understanding, more merciful. At the same time, Jesus tells us that I cannot ignore the wrong that someone is doing to me and to themselves. I have an obligation and charity to try to help them recognize what they are doing and give them an opportunity to change. If not, I will be what you would call an enabler. Instead, I need to have the courage to speak the truth to the other person with honesty and love. If that one-on-one -on -one encounter is not successful, then Jesus describes the next step, which today we would call an intervention. For the person to be able to see the truth, I may need to engage others that are respected. The purpose is not to vent about everything that is bothering me, but to help the person recognize the truth, to help with the conflict and division. So, if you feel called to confront someone, then pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit, so that you can speak not from anger, but genuine love. Our words need to be aimed at helping the other person to speak the truth with love. Also, ask for the grace to not take offense if the other person reacts negatively and may not want to hear what is being said. We do not need to take responsibility for the way in which the other person chooses to hear our message. 
we do need to persevere in love and mercy with our neighbor through reconciliation. Jesus says something thought-provoking when he allows for the possibility that the other person refuses to listen. Jesus says that we should treat that person as we would a Gentile or tax collector. And at first that seems rather harsh. Yet when we think about how Jesus treated Gentiles and tax collectors, this means that we must continue to love them and reach out to them. Remember that Matthew himself was a reformed tax collector and that Jesus was criticized for continuing to socialize in person with him and others. So let's make this prayer our prayer in trying to understand and deal with these kind of difficult situations like the one that's referred to in Matthew's Gospel today. Holy Spirit, today I call upon you to give me wisdom to walk as a child of the light so that I can speak the truth with love to my neighbor. Give me the words to say difficult things in a way that will help others to see the truth. Give me what I need through prayer so that I may do whatever is necessary to begin to heal the relationship with that person for whom I especially pray today. Amen. Amen. Please turn to page 358 as together we profess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten from the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and unrelated of one being with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look, we look for the, the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please join in the prayers of the people, Form 3, found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 387. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That, that we all may be one. one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you. That, that your name, name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That, that they, they may be faithful, faithful ministers of your, your word and sacraments. and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That, that there, there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give grace, to do a, give grace to us to do your will in all that we undertake. That, that our, our works may find favor in your, in your sight. sight. Have compassion on those on the prayer list, especially for all the needs of Stephen, Don, Sue, and Carrie to full term, moms and babies, and especially for all affected by the wildfires in California, derecho in Iowa, the hurricane in Texas and Louisiana, and the typhoon in North Korea and especially for all affected by the coronavirus pandemic. Also, for all affected by racial injustice and for the healing of our nation, and for all those who have been victims of racial violence, we commit ourselves to the way of love. For those who suffer for any grief or trouble, that, that they, they may, may be, be delivered, delivered from, from their distress. distress. Give to all the departed eternal rest. Let, Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for St. Paul and all your saints who have entered into joy. May, May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Let us pray. 
God of all power and love, we give thanks for your unfailing presence and the hope you provide in times of uncertainty and loss. Send your Holy Spirit to enkindle in us your holy fire. Revive us to live as Christ's body in the world, a people who pray, worship, learn, break bread, share life, heal neighbors, bear good news, seek justice, rest and grow in the Spirit. Wherever and however we gather, unite us in common prayer and send us in common mission that we and the whole creation might be restored and renewed through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please turn to page 360 as we confess our sins against God and our neighbor. We pray. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in God, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins, through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace. 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 Ordinarily, at this time, when we gather together, we have announcements and blessings. So I thought, since it's the first Sunday in September, we would offer our blessings for birthdays and wedding anniversaries today. So for everyone who um, celebrates a birthday this month, let us pray. O oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servants as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their lives. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And for everyone celebrating a wedding anniversary during this month of September, let us pray. O oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of marriage that in it is represented the spiritual unity between Jesus and the church. Send therefore your blessing upon your servants who celebrate their wedding anniversary during this month of September, that they may so love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience and wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And for all teachers and students, as they begin the school year, we have a special blessing for them too. Let us pray. Eternal God, bless all teachers and students in their schools, colleges and universities, high schools, middle schools, elementary schools, that they may be lively centers for sound learning, new discovery, and the pursuit of wisdom. Grant that all those who teach and all those who learn may find you to be the source of all truth. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Walk in love as Christ has loved us and gave himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God. Our great thanksgiving begins on page 361 with Eucharistic Prayer A. The Lord be with you. And also be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right to give, give him thanks, thanks and praise. praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. For you are the source of light and life. You made us in your image and called us to new life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven. 
who forever proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Yes. Christ yes. is yes. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and an ending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. At the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ. By him and with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us lift up our prayers for one another as Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Amen. Our closing prayer is on page 365. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Bye. Bye. We miss Bye. you. Bye. We miss you. Be safe.